Once again, I return. Hello. It's Roman Llama from Roman Llama Skyrim Time. I'm sorry about the YouTube quality. Blame YouTube for having awful AVC encoder rather than cool VP9 encoder. Anyway. Wow. Look at that. I downloaded even more mods. Yes, I know. That's becoming a running theme. Oh. Hello, bushes. Goodbye. Oh, yes, the barn. That's the boss, the giant cow. Okay, so last episode I wasn't very happy. I'm very sorry about that. It was a very rough day. That's the worst day I've had in months of all this illness saga. Um, this episode, we did a little bit of Imperial for the last two episodes. We can do some main quest. Maybe. Hmm. I don't know. Actually, no, I kind of want to get some of these... Hmm. <laughs> Maybe we should get some of the uh, Solitude stuff done. That could be fun. Pretty far away. Let's go do Mind of Madness. That could be really fun. If we can get the Wabberjack. Because you know that random encounter where the, the crazy lady goes up to you and goes, Wabberjack, put the Wabberjack inside me! If I can find her while having the rubber jack on me, because I've never managed to have it on me when she comes up to me. It always upsets me. And that one time that I went and went to grab the the rubber jack from my home in Whiterun and came back out, she despawned. And I was very upset. So we're gonna keep that on us and hope that we find her this episode this season. Oof. Hey. Let's go! I don't remember where we have to go for this. All I remember is this mission is annoying. Oh, there we go. Ah! Better enchantments. Ooh. Pally, my dear. Oh, I couldn't. It goes right through me. Besides, I have so many things to do. So many undesirables to contend with. Naysayers, buffoons, detractors. Why, my, my headsman hasn't slept in three days. You are far too hard on yourself. A dear, sweet, homicidally insane Pelagius. Put that down. What would the people do without you? Dance, sing, smile, <laughs> grow old. You are the best septum that's ever ruled. Well, except for that Martin fella. But he turned into a dragon god. <laughs> and that's hardly sporting. You know, I was there for that whole sordid affair. Marvelous time! Butterflies, blood, a fox, a severed head, oh, 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 and the cheese! Put that down! To die for! <laughs> yes, it's yes, oblivion. it's said countless times before. How to rumpf! Well, then, if you're going to be like that, perhaps it's best to take my leave. A good day to you, sir. I said good day! Yes, yes, go. Leave me to my ceaseless responsibilities and burdens. Whoa. All right. How rude! Can't be bothered to host an old friend for a decade or two. I'm here to deliver a message. Really? Yeah. Oh, oh, what kind of message? A song? A summons? Wait, uh, I know! A death threat. Written on the back of an Argonian concubine. Ah, those are my favorites. Well, spit it out, mortal. I haven't got an eternity. Actually, I do. Little joke. But seriously, what's the message? I was asked to retrieve you from your vacation. Were you now? By whom? Wait! Don't tell me. I want to guess. Was it Molag? No, no. Little Tim, the toy maker's son, ah? Huh? Oh, the ghost of King Lysandus? Ah, oh, or was it one? Yes, Stanley, the talking grapefruit from Passwall. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm wrong on all accounts, aren't I? Ha! <laughs> no matter. But honestly, I don't want to know. Why ruin the surprise? But more to the point, do you, Tiny? Puny, expendable little mortal. Actually think you can convince me to leave. Because that's 
crazy. You don't realize who you're dealing with here. I'm afraid I don't know, sir. Part of you, little mortal. I'm a shadow in your subconscious, a blemish on your fragile little psyche. You know me, you just don't know it. Shiagora, Daedric Prince of Madness, at your service. Does, does that mean you leave or not? Now that's the real question, isn't it? Because honestly, how much time off could a demented Daedra really need? So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave. That's right, I'm done. Holiday! Complete! Time to return to the humdrum day to day. On one condition. You have to find the way out first. Well, good luck with that. Okay, what's the catch? Ha! I do love it when the mortals know they're being manipulated. Makes things infinitely more interesting. Dare to take a look around? This is not, I dare say, the Solitude Botanical Gardens. Have you any idea where you are? Where you truly are? Welcome to the deceptively verdant mind of the Emperor Pelagius III. That's right! You're in the head of a dead, homicidally insane monarch! <laughs> Now, I know what you're thinking. Can I still rely on my swords and spells and sneaking and all that nonsense? Sure, sure. Or you could use... The Wub Attack! Huh? Huh? Didn't see that coming, did you? Nope. Thanks. Is he doing the fish stick? It's a very delicate state of mind. Oh, who are you talking to? Pelagius the third. Now, surely even you know about Pelagius's decree. No. Nope. On his deathbed. Oh, and this was inspired. He forbade death. That's right, death outlawed. Really? Inside the mind of Pelagius, silly. Oh, is it your first time? Be gentle. Do you mind? I'm busy doing the fish stick. It's a very delicate state of mind. Oh, we only have the weather jack. Oh, uh, yeah. You've headed down the path of dreams. Unfortunately for you, Pelagius suffered night terrors from a young age. All you need to do is find something to wake our poor Pelagius up. You'll find his terrors easy to repel, but persistent. Okay. This quest just always never flows well. Um. I. Oh, I turned a bandit into a child. I punched him, and then he appeared. Hmm. Hmm. Hi there. Hi there. Whoa. I ain't a pussy. Oh, 
something to crow about. With Pelagius something about, huh? you're moving right along. We'll both be home in no time. Okay. Ah! Now this is a sad path. Pelagius hated and feared many things. Assassins, wild dogs, the undead, pumpernickel. But the deepest, keenest hatred was for himself. The attacks he makes on himself can be seen here fully. They're always carried out on the weakest part of his yeah. The self-loathing enhances Pelagius' anger. Ah, but his confidence will shrink with every hit. You must bring the two into balance. Pelagius is finally ready to love himself and continue hating everyone else. Okay. It's just also awkwardly delivered. Pelagius stopped by and mentioned he hated you. Or I mentioned he hated you and he agreed. The night there isn't self-loathing a gun. Oh, I'm so happy for you. My, what a burden to have carried. But you've done it. You've conquered your own inner demons. Bravo. Um... You... it didn't mean... yourself. You meant... Pelagius? <laughs> well, same congratulations apply. Okay. Just, you know, for what you did for the insane emperor. Conquering paranoia should be a snap after that ordeal. Bye. <laughs> oh! Good choice! Well, good for me. I find everyone being out to get you so terribly entertaining. <laughs> you might find it less so. You see, Pelagius' mother was, well, let us say, unique. Although I suppose, in the grand scheme of things, she was fairly average for a septum. That woman wielded fear like a cleaver. Or did she wield a cleaver and make people afraid? I never get that part right. Oh, but she taught her son well. Pelagius learned at a very early age that danger could come from anywhere, at any time, delivered by anyone. The objective here is simple, you simpleton. Use your wabacha to defeat the enemy, or they do the same. Safe, which means you helped him out, sir. And we're that much closer to home. Donald, I fix his mind. Right. Hmm. Fixed is such a subjective term. I think treated is far more appropriate, don't you? Then we use like that? one does to a rash or an arrow in the face. <laughs> ah, but no matter. Heartless mortal that you are, you've actually succeeded and survived. I am first to honor my end of the bargain. So, thanks. congratulations. You're free to go. What about I you? I have been known to change my mind. So, go. Really. Pelagius Septum the Third. What's the mad emperor of Tamriel? Sounds so boringly sane. I always knew he had it in him. Well, I suppose it's back to the Shivering Isles. The trouble Haskell can get into while well, I'm gone simply boggles the mind. Let's make sure I'm not forgetting anything. 
Clothes. Check. Beard. Check. Luggage. Luggage. Now oh, where did I leave my luggage? Master, you've taken me back. Does this mean we're going home? Oh, happy times. I can't wait to... Yes, yes, that's quite enough celebration. Let's send you a hand, shall we? As for you, a little mortal minion, feel free to keep the Wabba Jack. As a symbol of my... I'll just take the damn thing. You take care of yourself now. And if you ever find yourself up in New Sheo, do look me up. We can share a strawberry tart! Ha <laughs> ha! Ta-ta! I have a saying. I'm not going to feel what you have to like. Ta-da! We made it here. I'm gonna shit the bed. Roman, do you need any of this stuff? Yeah? I need it to mind your own business. Hmm? Oh. I think that door was some stupid. Yeah, pretty cursed. Pretty, pretty cursed. Why is there still food in these? <laughs> All right, I'll leave. Wait. <gasps> I'm glad I don't remember where they are. I was about to leave. No, oh, what a nightmare that would have been. This is the right way. <laughs> That's kind of fun. I suppose. It's always a confusion. I made it out. Hey. The winking ski has got warm beds and cold mead. You look like you could use both. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> do 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 see ya. <laughs> We've successfully done the mind of madness. Okay. My return. I know, I know. We, this won't be like yesterday. It won't be me leaving a bunch. I've gone for like an hour. I've been gone for a while. Um, doing a bunch of stuff. Uh, but I'm here now. We should be uninterrupted for the rest of this episode. Uh, I don't know why this bug is happening with the running. It's jittering me. Do you see it? It's very subtle, but it jitters the screen a bit. really annoying. Either way. Uh, that's one thing we did. Uh, yeah, let's do Wolf Skull. Could be fun. Well, maybe we should rest up. If Ooh. you're looking for opportunities to make some coin, well, Yeah, let's grab a little place of rest. Could be quite nice. I think we've earned it. Welcome to the Winking Skeever. Ooh. Take a load off and enjoy the atmosphere. Yeah, I'd like to take a load. Seems there's always Welcome more to, to the be Winking done. Skeever, friend. Hello, can I bath here? Of course. Here you go. I understand. I understand. Uh, I downloaded a new mod as well that should let you bathe better. Um, it's an actual bathing mod. It's a very simple one, apparently, but. It's nice to get the feet wet, you know? Let's take everything off. I'm wearing the fine stuff. <laughs> we have the boy. Bless him. <laughs> I hate this third person camera, goddammit.
Oops. What's this? Shit. Wait, no, you're ruining it. Okay, you ready for this? You ready for this? <laughs> the way when the physics objects interact when you're sitting down somewhere, and you drag them, it dr tries to drag them to the center of the screen, so they end up flipping about. That's really silly. Mm -hmm. Oh, I should get back dressed before I go back upstairs. Ah, I'm about to hop into a bed. I'll be fine. Come on in, just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get. Next time, oh. you might want to get dressed before leaving the house. Shush. Can I have a room, please? Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Cheers, thank you. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Watch what you're doing! We'll drive out the storm cloaks and restore what we own. With our blood and our steel, we will take back our home. Down with. We're the children of Skyrim and we fight all. But this land is ours and we'll see it white. Down with Malfrick, the killer of. New bed now. Okay, bye. Thank you. <sighs> Wait, it's still bright outside. <laughs> Where are we going? Is that not censored in the middle of the screen? Did you notice that? I can't tell if this if that's like a little bit too low or not. <laughs> okay, let's put on some clothes. Well, let's just walk around and see what people say to us. Naked man from the sky. Hey, that isn't yours. I was trying to talk to you. By order of the eye. Stop smart. This game's fucking stupid. Okay, let's try that again. Naked man from the sky. That's not something you see every day. What? You should think about staying the night. Corpulent. We drink to <coughs> our youth, to the days blade or and gone. The blade the and the age of aggression. Both of you follow me outside. So is there a bug on my foot? My foot feels like it's moving. So you clap, deep shit. You don't go. Hey. Hello, friend. Hey, man. Always Bye. good talking to you, friend. <sighs> Getting blinded when I look over there. Oof. Yeah, I can fit my fist in my mouth. Watch this. Oh. See. Woo. Okay. We have slept. We have eaten. I went back in time and undid the crime of the past. And now we're here. I put some clothes on, talked to some people, didn't sell anything, probably could have. I looked to Trish. I looked to Beerund to see if I could sell any armor, but I haven't picked any up. So here we off to Wolfskull Cave we go. I suppose. Stop running out of sprint. He keeps turning sprint off. There we go. I'm pretty sure the cave was up here on the right. Giant Meridia Penis. I salute you. I'm gonna get attacked by more wolves. I remember you. Hmm. Somewhere. Check the map. Nope, I'm on the wrong side. <sighs> well, I thought we'd have less distractions. Jesus Christ, this is the universe just telling me to stop playing Skyrim. This is the universe just telling me to stop. Fuck's sake. 
I'll see you at Wolfstone. To a wedding at this far flung end of the Empire, anyway. I told you it's the wedding of Vittoria Vici, an extremely well connected merchant with the East Empire Company. The Emperor's cousin, remember? Hopefully, these gifts will put us in her good graces, secure that import deal, and lead the way to an audience with the Emperor. Hmm. Hello. Don't bother me, peasant. I've had a long journey and paid too much coin on these gifts to be late to Victoria's wedding. Enjoy the wedding. Indeed, if we ever get there. It's right up here. I don't know how you could miss it, honestly. Well, I do know one way you could miss it. Take him back here. Bye, bitch. She called me trash. Oh, I killed her husband accidentally. She was the one that was mean to me. You want some too? Eat shit. What about? Oops. No, he t posed. I needed him. Oh, whichever one that was, I don't know. Where'd the other one go? Uh, you're not even as rich as you thought you were, right? Fuck you. You have nothing on you. Pathetic. Man, what a waste. Ooh, Meridia. We could do Meridia quest. Wouldn't actually be the worst idea. We're right here. We could do both. I'm sure we can fit that in. Actually, maybe not. We'll try it. We're right here, so... For the voice ideas. How does the soul trap glitch work again? If you cast soul trap on a dead corpse, you should get conjuration level up. But I think it's patched because I've tried it before and it didn't work. Do you count as skeletons? Uh, yep. Oh, I killed the one up here as well, wow. That's cool. Hmm. 
<laughs> green. Oh. How do you get in there? I don't think you can. It's a shame you can't like destroy stuff like that. I suppose I could telekinesis it. That's a big uh, invisibility potion, it looks like. I'll just TFC behind it. TC on behind it, even. Yeah. There's no way around there. No. It's a shame. Yeah, I can sprint jump now. God. Need to remember that. Eh? <laughs> this dungeon has a really cool aesthetic. I like it. It's just nice to walk around it and explore. More damage, no? Hmm. Are so fucking obnoxious. <laughs> Kill Grief Balcony. Oh, yeah, it's down here. Wow. Oh, wow. We truly are the Old Scrolls 5 Skyrim. What is that? Those mountain peaks look crazy. Is it just... Wait, there's like dotted marks. Are they just trees? Huh. I don't think I've ever noticed that before. What is that? I think they're just trees, but... Wait, is... Don't tell me. That's just this mountain? Oh my god. And Throne of the World is up there. Skyrim is fucking huge, bro. That's the Throne of the World? Fuck me. Man.
Floor Wallerstein. Hey. That could be a fun combo. Fills the Soul Gem fully. Or oh, partially. We favourite that. For now, we can set that to two. And we'll switch back to one. Trap somebody. I don't think we can do it to the in here, but we might increase conjuration level. That was cool. We filled that up with common salt. Nice. <laughs> no soul gem large enough. We have nothing else. Okay. <laughs> Do these guys count as Daedra? No. Master? Someone set up a trap. Huh. Interesting. Jesus. Fuck off for two gold. Bloody hell. Not worth it. Ooh, these are. Why couldn't they have been inside the thing? That would have actually made me earn it. I'm really curious what's down here and what's over here. It's probably nothing. Oh, I'm glad I checked. Okay, well, what about over there? It's probably nothing, but I'm kind of curious. We forced my way over. Well, it's nothing. That would have been cool though. 15 gold. Let's keep going. Uh, we definitely will not be able to do this in Potomo. Uh, and the other one. Uh, 
Well, as long as I'm leveling up Conjuration, it could be worth it. Have money on them. It's nice. Hmm. Oh. Huh. That's cool. What about this way? They glitch out whenever you fucking <laughs> pick them up sometimes. That guy just flopped over. I just remembered when I was watching my friend play this last year, uh, he got to this moment and, and his follower Lydia Fucking just came, she was in this dungeon, she was missing her head. She, we lost her for ages, and then she suddenly showed up, and she was missing her head. We did a warp and came back, and she had it again. No idea what happened, or why. But it was funny. A new hand fingers my butthole. Hmm. That's interesting. I don't think I've seen him do that for a ceiling before. Huh. Hmm. Malkaroon. <laughs> ah! Shout! Hello! Now, neither of my shouts are active. Because the game knows that I'm trying to catch one. So it won't even let me switch, because I have the wrong shout active. Um, yeah. Come on. There we go. He's got a cutsman. He farmed Borman Nates. Fuck you, Malkarun. I captured his soul. No, I didn't. Don't kill me. Oh my god. Came so far. It is done. The Defiler is defeated. Take Dawnbreaker from its pedestal. Lots of gold. Look at this. This is worth it. Stop doing flips, alright? I'm prepared for it now. I want to watch one of them flip because they keep flipping. Like an American child, you keep flipping. No, I'm trying to. Damn it.
These ones are behaving, okay. Maybe I'm walking on them, that's what's doing it. Bro, this is so much money! Bro! Thanks. No, I wasn't done- oh. I'll keep the sword, but find someone else to spread your religion. It matters not. The plant cares nothing for the rays that bring it the warmth of the sun. As you carry Dawnbreaker, so will my light touch the world. It is really interesting. Oh, I'm dying! Oh! It is really interesting how <laughs> I was about to try and ground slam. It is really interesting knowing how the um, Adric princes work. Because, like, to, for them to get stronger, they have to have an active following. Which is super interesting. I really like that as a concept. Do I have to see the sword? We have Dawnbreaker. I remember when I used this in my first playthrough, I was already, like, a little bit into the campaign, and I came here and I'm like, what the fuck is this? This is awful. This sucks. I was like, wow, this is going to be so cool. And it was just always shit. I made sure to specifically carry it with me when I fought undead. And it never came in handy, not once. Didn't explode, didn't do anything. <laughs> okay. Let's go to Wolf Skull, I guess. I died. It's falling from this height, literally just down to there. I thought I'd be fine. I thought I could survive it. That bug with the running bothers me so much, I think it's this. Because, yeah, my character's position resets every run cycle. That's just a really bad bug. Wow, that's detail. That's high quality. That's so high quality. Uh, Wolf Skull is up here. The second exit. Well, I think so. Up on the left. I want to find it with the opening map. No, this is clear pine. It was on the right? What? Are you serious? I came up the other end earlier and it said that it was further that way. No. I thought it was on the hill up on one of the paths, not the second path. Oh. Found it. Ah. Okay, crew. Ooh, ooh. It's a lightning. Oh, it's nothing. Sweet. Ooh. Do, do, do. Oops. Oh. 
Ja. Kinder Horus. He's being resurrected. I'm sorry, excuse me. Shut up. Why are they dying so recently? Watch. It's so difficult, young. Not that. Why are they dying so easily? It's sad. Skyrim would have been fucked there, mate. Think about all the stuff we do in this game. All the things that we solve. Potoma coming back, Alderaan destroying the wall. I could grind some sneak. I'm going to find you. Oh yeah, prove it. Oh shit. Uh I know the mage is more important, but I want to get rid of the valley first. Ah. There he goes. <laughs> Jump like a Norwegian skier. Cult of necromancers right under Solitude's nose. How do I get down there safely? Oh my god, I guess. Potema. Oh my god. So pretty. <laughs> How about you? Somebody up. Got my arrow back. <laughs> you idiot. Aha. Oh. 
Look at back here. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? Ah! I can probably destroy that, I think, maybe. <laughs> I say as I look at his ass, that's not what I meant. Hmm, yeah, yeah, I could destroy that. <laughs> Catch this. <laughs> I'm coming up, so you better get this party started. Foolish fool. See ya. Ooh. Climbing the tallest tower. I'll end the episode when we've done this. More than before. This once. How do I? Oh, huh? ah. Sorry, man. This has been a mistake. Perfect dodge block. Good timing, mine. It's good paper, isn't it? No, oh, give me your moss. Something is wrong. There is an intruder. Hit me. Ah. <laughs> she hit her friend in the head. In the butt, in the butt.
Hey, pretend we came back here. Hey. I don't even have anything worth on you. I can't even die right. Come on. No. Everybody out. The Refugees. I kind of want to leave all of the armor, the level up books for last, but oh my god, I thought she was staring at me. She t posed deft. Oh man. I kind of want to leave all the skill books for last. But, I don't think this point. Speak to Falk Firebread. Ooh. Fun. Is he in this room? What? Oh. Ah. Look at that. Cute. I didn't think to look though. Alright, let's go back to solitude. God, it's so gloomy. What time is it? Only 8.50? Jesus. This is the first time Skyrim's, like, general outside atmosphere has actually spooked me out a little bit. It's just so dark. It's crazy. It's brighter down here, that's such a cool effect. Was it just because the northern lights are coming on? For the nine o'clock show? Yeah. So pretty. Only burglars and vampires creep around off the dark. So which are you? It's nine sixteen, you dipshit. Which are you, eh? Huh? I'm stuck on a boat. Ooh, that's a nice... That's a nice screenshot, holy shit. Maybe it would be if these rocks went in the way. Let me go on top of them and see if I can make it better. Oh my god. Hee <laughs> hee. It's pretty. Sorry, I'm taking my sweet time. <laughs> Vampires don't. Alright, you'll be fine. Who left these doors open? Skeever's got warm beds and cold meat. Like no music, it's so eerie. There we go. Whee! Uh, just a few more hours and I can crawl into some fur. Hmm. I would love going to be in a place like this. 
ist denn neu? Äh. God's work hard. Watch your feet. We just clean there. You've returned. Good. What did you find at Wolf Skull Cave? Some necromancers were attempting to summon and bind Potema. Potema herself? Yeah. Please tell me you stopped them. I interrupted the ritual, it's done. You've done a larger service to the realm than you could possibly know. A resurrected Potema. I shudder at the thought. Well, it's not done yet. I saw it leave. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Elisif seems to rely on you a great deal. She still mourns greatly for her husband, High King Torik. So she leaves many of the courtly details to me. Okay, bye. Anytime, friend. And also with you. Okay, we did a lot this episode. Wow. Nice focused experience. Didn't take me eight hours, it just took me three for a one hour episode. God. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Tomorrow, we'll do... We went two days. We'll do... More stuff, I guess. Kind of want to do Missing in Action. We go... We should go back to White Run. <gasps> that would be such a nice idea. Why don't we, next episode... Go, we won't fast travel. We'll just have a walk. Down from Warfall. Discover Dead Men's Rest, but maybe you do that. And we'll head to White Run from there. And then we can stop off at Elysium and I can show you some of the stuff that I've put down. That's a nice episode. Yeah. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Warm, happy, healthy. Bye.